but then when the order fills, we can see that we only paid one cent in fees for a $10 order. So we actually lowered our fees here by 99X, almost 100X lower fees than we were paying at the beginning of the video. What's up YouTube, it's Barrett back at it again with another video. Previously on this channel, I've covered a lot of very complicated Gemini tutorials, but today I just wanted to give you guys a really basic and simple overview of the Gemini trading platform called Gemini Active Trader. And I love doing these Gemini reviews for you guys because Gemini is still in 2022 the lowest fee way to buy and sell any cryptocurrency that is offered on the Gemini trading platform. And it feels like the crypto community at large hasn't really recognized yet that Gemini is the best and lowest fee way to be buying and selling most major cryptocurrencies. So if you guys watch until the end of the video, I'll be showing you guys how to get into Gemini Active Trader. I'll be giving you guys an overview of some of the basic features of Active Trader and how you can use it for yourself. We'll cover some of the optimal security settings that you can set up within your Gemini Active Trader account. And then finally, I'll be showing you guys how you can take those already low Gemini Active Trader trading fees and more than cut them in half, which is the reason that Gemini is the lowest fee trading platform of all of the cryptocurrency exchanges. Go down below and smash the like button for the lowest fee cryptocurrency exchange on the market and let's level up your brain. <laughs> All right, guys, so if you've never used Gemini Active Trader before, when you log in for the first time, your account is going to look something like this. And so at the top, the way that you would buy Bitcoin here in the normal interface is by just going up to market, and then you would click on the coin that you wanted to buy here, in this case, Bitcoin. You would set how often you want to buy it, and you would choose either buy, sell, or convert. And so here I could make a $10 order. I could hit continue, use my USD balance. And you'll see here that the transaction fee is about 99 cents, or 10% of my total order. And so if I click confirm here, we've placed a buy order. We'll hit got it. And then if we go to my email address linked with my Gemini account, we'll see that my buy order is complete. It will show me the price and it will show me the quantity of Bitcoin that I just purchased. And then if we scroll down here to completed transactions, we can see that I've created a one-time buy for that $10 and it gives me the amount of Bitcoin that I purchased here as well. So I just paid 10% in fees, which is really, really high. And the whole reason that we're using Active Trader in the first place is that the fee structure for Active Trader is much lower than what I just paid on the regular Gemini interface. So if we come here to gemini.com slash fees, we can go back to all fees for a second and we can look at the web fee schedule that I just participated in. If our web order amount is less than or equal to $10, which mine just was, I paid that 99 cent transaction fee, which was 10% of my total order. And it would be even worse if you tried to buy $5 of Bitcoin, right? Then it would be 20% of your total order. And this goes all the way up to $200 where you're getting 1.5% of your web order value. It's a lot lower than the 10% that I just got but you really, you know, that 1.5% fee is actually really high also. So if we come back to all fees for a second and then we check out Gemini Active Trader fee schedule, we'll see that the taker fee is 0.35% and we'll see that the maker fee is 0.25%. And so if we take this maker fee, for example, we can already see that a 0.25% fee is 40 times less money than that 10% fee that I just paid. So next, let's see how we can activate Gemini Active Trader and take advantage of these really low fees. And we'll also be talking about, you know, what is the difference between a taker fee and a maker fee? And how can you take advantage of that even lower maker fee instead of taking, you know, this 0.35% taker fee? So what we're going to do first is we're back in our Gemini interface and we're going to come up to account and we're going to hit settings. Here in settings, just on the normal account screen, you'll see that there's a trading interface button at the bottom. By default, you're set to Gemini basic. And what we want to do is just click on Gemini active trader over here. So we're just going to click on this and we're going to hit back to Gemini exchange. You can see already that the screen looks much different than it did before. So as of today, Gemini Active Trader is only available on desktop. And so if you tried to follow those steps that we just followed here on mobile, it's not going to work for you. You can't actually activate Active Trader on mobile, but stick around to the end of the video and I'll be sharing with you a series of videos that will show you how to actually take these powerful features of the Gemini Active Trader platform and actually bring those onto your mobile phone so that you can get access to these really low fees while you're on the go. You don't have to actually be sitting at your desktop to be doing these things. So so right away, the big thing that you'll notice in the middle of the screen here, these are candles of basically the Bitcoin price over time. And you can see what market we're in up here in the top left, and you can change these markets to whatever you know coin that you're interested in trading. I'm going to stick with Bitcoin as default for everything, but just know that you can come up here. And you know if you wanted to look at the Kyber network market, you could click on this and you know these candles are going to be for the Kyber network market. But let's just stick with Bitcoin for now. So these candles are showing the one day price 
price of Bitcoin. So this last candle here is the 123 2022 candle, the day that I'm recording this video. If you go back here, you can see this was the 119 candle. This was the 118 candle, 117, 116, so on and so forth. And you can see the duration of the candle up here at the top of the screen. So I could change this to six hours or one hour or 30 minutes or 15 minutes or five minutes. This is the candle from while we're recording this video. This is the live price. This is the candle from five minutes ago, you know, and all the way back. And what the candle is showing you basically is the wick of the candle. This very top part is showing you the highest price of Bitcoin over this time frame. And then the wick at the bottom is showing you the lowest price of Bitcoin during this time frame. The green candles mean that the price went up over that amount of time. And the red candles mean that the price went down over that amount of time. And then you can see this box up here is showing you over different time frames, basically exactly what I told you, the open price, the high price, the low price, the close price, and the volume traded during this time frame. So if we went to day, maybe we could get you know some more meaningful data. On this day, Bitcoin traded between 47,000 and 42,000, and it closed around 42,800. So that's sort of what this giant price graph with all these fancy candles means. And you can change you know how it looks if you just wanted to see lines, but I think most people want to look at candles because it gives you a little bit more information. Next, let's take a look over here on the left-hand side of the screen. And this is where we're going to be placing our buy orders. Just like before, how you could place a buy or sell order for any coin, we're gonna do the exact same thing here. So first we're gonna look at order type and the two that I want you guys to focus on are market or limit. Market order is how we're going to take advantage of this taker fee. And the market order basically says, I want to buy this amount of Bitcoin right now, no matter what the price does. So if I type in 10 USD right here, first of all, we'll see that the fee is three cents compared to 99 cents that it was before when I tried to buy the same $10 of Bitcoin. And so if I hit buy now, it's going to confirm you're about to place a $10 market order to buy this much Bitcoin at this price. You're just going to hit confirm if you wanted to actually buy that amount of Bitcoin. You'll see that your market buy order has been placed and you'll see that it was immediately put into completed orders. And you'll see back in your linked email address that your buy order has been completed for that amount of Bitcoin at this price. And interestingly enough, on this email, they show you how much your trading fees were, right? They're bragging that, ooh, our trading fees were only three cents on $10. That's really good. You'll notice that on that first buy order in regular Gemini, they actually didn't tell us how much we were paying in fees because we were paying a lot of money in fees. So that was us taking advantage of this 0.35% taker fee. And we just saved basically 33 times as much money, right? We went from paying 99 cents in fees to only paying three cents in fees. So now if we head back to Gemini, let's click on open orders down here. And we'll talk about next, how can we take advantage of not the taker fee, but instead the maker fee. And what the maker fee means is we're basically adding liquidity to this order book over here on the right hand side of the screen. These are basically all of the bids and asks or the buys and the sells of everyone participating in the Gemini marketplace. And so what we do when we set a limit order is we're saying I'm only willing to trade my money, my US dollars for Bitcoin if the US dollar price of Bitcoin hits this amount. And this amount is determined by all of the people collectively bidding and asking or buying and selling Bitcoin in this marketplace. So we can see right now the price Price is hovering around 35,190 about. So if I set a limit order for something just below that, maybe 35,180.00, and we say that we want to buy $10 of USD, it will show before we hit buy that the fee for this is 0.35%. But over here, we can see that eventually when our order gets placed on the order book, we're going to actually be taking advantage of the maker fee, and that fee is going to get cut down to 0.25%. So let's see this in action and see how Gemini processes this order. So we'll see again that my price is lower than the current spot price. And I'm going to actually turn this into 190 just to hopefully get a faster fill. Change this back to $10 and we're going to hit buy. And so now we'll see that my order has come into the open order section and not the completed order section, right? So if we remember that market order, we went into the market and we said, we have $10. Let's buy some Bitcoin right now. We don't care what the price is. The order that we just made said, we only want to exchange these 10 US dollars that we have if the the price ever reaches 35,190. And so unfortunately, while I'm filming this, the price is actually going up and away from my order, which is sort of the danger of setting a limit order. If the price doesn't fall to your limit order, you might never fill and turn your cash into Bitcoin. And so let's make a couple more limit orders here and see if we can get the price to fill a little bit faster. So let's set this to 35,208, maybe 0.00 and change this to $10 and hit buy again. And we'll see that now we have a second limit order.
order on the book. So if the price falls just about a dollar, we should be able to fill this limit order and take advantage of those 0.25% fees. And there it went. You could see that it was there for a second and the price fell and filled our limit order. And so if we come over here to completed orders, we can see that the limit order for $35,208 was filled because the price crashed below that limit order. And we can see that it just disappeared. The last one, the first one that we filled, this 190, it also filled for that amount of Bitcoin that we wanted before because the price has fallen below that threshold that we set. So right now the price is at 35,176. And so the 35,190 filled while the price fell down past that point that I set it at. So now if we go into our email, we can see a couple pretty interesting things. They first send us an email when the buy order is placed as a limit order, and they say that the trading fee was four cents. So when the order is placed, they're showing us the taker fee because Gemini isn't sure, is this going to be a taker order or a maker order? But then they send us a second email when the buy is filled, and you'll see that it's showing 10.03 cents, but this is really a rounding error because of this you know, 0 0.25, 0 0.35 situation. And so while you can't really see the difference because of the rounding error here, if we export actually the raw data from those Gemini orders into a spreadsheet, we can see that in the first order, we bought $10, we paid 99.03 cents in fees. Second order, we placed an order for $10 of Bitcoin and we paid 0.35% in fees or 0.3487. And that's again, taking this taker fee right here. And then for those second two limit orders, we'll see that the fee was actually one cent less. And this isn't a big deal, you know, this 0.35 versus 0.25 when you're talking about such little numbers like this, but over time, you do want to be taking advantage of these limit orders because there's really no difference in you hitting market and you hitting limit, especially if you're placing a limit order that's just below what the spot price of Bitcoin is like we just did. It took about two or three minutes for those orders to fill and waiting that amount of time was totally fine for the extra fees that we didn't have to pay. And again, you could do this with any coin, right? I could do this with maybe the one inch coin or the wrapped file coin coin or yearn finance or something, right? Let's say I wanted to trade your in finance, I could say maybe only once the price hits 10,000, because I think that it's going to go down a lot, right? Only once the price hits 10,000, do I want to buy $100 of YFI, right? So I would hit buy right here. And then you would see that on open orders, I have a limit order open for $10,000. So it's going to have to drop almost 50% for this limit order to get filled. And at that point, I will buy $100 of urine finance. And let's say I didn't want to do that, right? I don't actually want to buy any urine finance and I want to instead cancel this order, I can come down to cancel here in the bottom right hand side of the screen under status. And just when I hit cancel, it will show up this little menu. Would you like to cancel your limit by and you'll just hit cancel. And so that's actually the other advantage of limit orders. Limit orders don't ever expire on Gemini. And so you can leave limit orders open for a very long time. I actually make a limit order every day that's 5% lower than the current spot price of Bitcoin. And so when there are big crashes, all of those orders fill, right? Because the price is coming down, coming down, coming down. And each one of those orders that's slightly lower than the price continues to fill. And I get good price execution when there are giant crashes like happened earlier this week. And so you can see, I actually have a limit order up from yesterday that was 5% lower than the price of Bitcoin. That limit order hasn't filled yet because Bitcoin has never hit this $33,640 price target. Next, let's go ahead and jump into settings and I'll show you guys what are the optimal security settings for making sure that your Gemini Active Trader account is as secure as possible. So to get into settings, again, we'll come up here to account at the top and we'll hit settings. And the first setting that we really care about here in settings over on the left hand side is security. So here you'll see your linked email address and the phone number linked with this account. But if you scroll down, the really important piece here is two factor authentication. The least secure method of two factor authentication is via text message. And this is because if some malicious actor hacks your Verizon account or your AT&T account, they can actually receive your text messages to a phone that's not your phone. And then they could hack your Gemini account if they also had the password to your Gemini account. And at that point, they would be able to withdraw any cryptocurrency you're holding on your account to whatever wallet they had, you would never get those coins back. And this is like how 99% of these crypto hacks and these people that lose their cryptocurrency, this is how that happens. The next most secure way to be securing your Gemini account is with an Authy app or a Google Authenticator type app that's on your phone that is a secure two-factor authentication that can only be run from your phone. So even if someone hacked your Verizon account, they can't take the Authy app data that's on your physical device and move it to some other device. They would have to actually steal your phone in order to get access to your Gemini account using your Authy app. So this is even more secure than that text messaging option, but 
but the most secure option is to use some sort of physical security key like a UB key or any other physical security key that Gemini supports. And you can click learn more if you want to learn more about the different security keys that you could be purchasing to use on Gemini. And if you guys do want me to do a video on something like this, I can make a review for a UB key or some other physical hardware two-factor authentication device. Just leave those down in the comments and I'll make a video in the backlog to address that at some point. And so really, if you have Authy or if you have a physical UB key security key, these are going to be very, very secure. It's very unlikely that someone is going to first guess your Gemini password and then also steal your phone or steal your security key. So these are all sort of very general health security things you should be using with any app that's linked to your finances. Next, let's look at a very specific to cryptocurrency security feature that you should be enabling on all of your crypto exchanges that you're trading on. For that, we're going to come over here on the left to approved addresses. And so here you can see that to add a new address to this list, the address must be on the list for a seven day approval period before you can withdraw to that address. And what this means is that even if someone hacked your Gemini account, they know your password, they stole your phone or your YubiKey and they were able to log in, they could not withdraw to some address that was not one of the addresses that you had listed down below without first waiting for seven days to approve their own address on this address whitelist, at which point you should have enough time to reach out to Gemini's security team and make them aware to freeze your account. You should be receiving those emails at that point, and hopefully this seven-day approval period would give you enough time to stop some malicious actor from sending Bitcoin off your Gemini exchange account into a wallet that they control. Finally, over on the left, the last setting that we're going to take a look at here is the API programmatic access portion of Gemini. What's really valuable about the Gemini API in particular is that it actually allows us to cut the active trader fees more than in half. If we come up to the active trader fee schedule, we can see that the maker fee, again, that we've been talking about this whole video is 0.25%. But if we go over to the API fee schedule, we can see that their maker fee is 0.1%. So taking advantage of this 0.1% maker fee on the API, plus the fact that Gemini gives you over on their transfer fee schedule, they give you 10 free withdrawals per month per coin for every coin that is listed on Gemini, including Ethereum and Ethereum ERC20 tokens like Chainlink that are very expensive to normally move around because of how broken the gas fees are on Ethereum. It also includes Bitcoin. This is a great way for you to avoid those on-chain transaction fees that you would be paying with basically any other exchange that you're using. So when you combine this 0.1% maker fee from the API fee schedule with the fact that you're getting 10 free transfers per month per coin, Gemini becomes definitively the cheapest way to buy and sell any cryptocurrency that is listed on Gemini. And there are quite a few for you to choose from. So as far as how to implement the Gemini API, I have an entire tutorial and a lot of videos on different ways that you can automate the Gemini API, include fear and greed data in your purchases, automatically buy dips, and a whole host of other things that you can do with the Gemini API. I'll leave the link to those videos up in the cards. Definitely check that out if you are interested in making your fee structure even lower than what's offered over here on Gemini Active Trader. And just to further solidify the point on these 0.1% maker fees that you can get via the API, I'm going to open my Gemini Active Trader account here so that you can see the open order come in as I place this trade. And just to solidify the point here, I'm going to go over to my iPad. I'm going to click on Buy Bitcoin. This is a script that I've written that links to the Gemini API. API and I have a video on how you can do this for yourself up in the cards. I'm going to choose to buy $10 of Bitcoin. I'm going to set the limit price to as close to the spot price as possible. The limit order says that it's posted. So we'll wait here for a second for that to show up on Active Trader. There's the limit order for $10. And we waited for about a minute there and the order filled. So now if we come over to our email address, we'll see that just like when we place the order in Active Trader, that the first email that we get from Gemini is using the taker side fee. So this is actually higher than the fee that we're going to end up paying. But then when the order fills, we can see that we only paid one cent in fees for a $10 order, which if you rewind to the beginning of the video, we actually paid 99 cents in fees just using the regular web fee schedule for Gemini. So we actually lowered our fees here by 99x, almost 100x lower fees than we were paying at the beginning of the video. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, go down below and smash the like button. It really helps out the channel and it tells YouTube that it needs to show this video to other people who are trying to find the lowest fee way to buy and sell cryptocurrency. Comment down below or DM me on Twitter if you guys do have any questions about anything we covered in this video. I do still respond to all the comments. And then check back here for new videos every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern. I love you all.
Goodbye.